welcome to my room tour part one. So today I will be guiding you on a tour of all the art related things in my room. So basically all the stuff you see behind me here. So if you would like to see a part two of this video where I tour all the dance stuff in my room, drop a big like on this video. The video would be super duper 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 long if I toured dance and art stuff together because I have a lot of stuff. So yeah, now let's start off on the right side of my room. First up on the tour is my hot pink flower earring holder. I also have a few necklaces on there. And this is on the far left corner of my bookshelf. In front of my earring holder, I have this homemade, I made it myself, jar that is an Easter bunny. I made this around Easter time like two years ago. It has pom-poms on the lid. I absolutely love it. Those paper ears are adorable. It's so flippin' cute. Under my adorable bunny jar, I have these black Melissa and Doug scratch art pads. Hiding underneath my scratch art, I have this beautiful red Ruby Love notebook. It says, be you, do you, for you. On either side of my notebook, I have these two beautiful seashells that my parents got me when they went to Mexico. Now we have these blue, yellow, and light pink cinch sack mini bags. I did have a bunch of these in rainbow colors, but I used all the other ones because I love them so much. I also love that they are kind of see-through so you can see what's in the bag without having to open it. Behind my mini cinch bags, I have this beautiful cherry blossom painting. I didn't do it myself. I don't know who did it, but I won it at a silent auction at a fundraiser at my lake, and it is absolutely beautiful. I love it so much. In front of the painting and the mini bags, I have these Sketchbox Signature Fine Liner markers and I love them so much. Under there, I have these Stabilo fine liner markers that are also very awesome. Under those fine liner markers, I have this pastel purple painted box with roses on top. I painted this one myself not too long ago, and I use it to store all of the markers and stuff that I've gotten from Sketchbox. There are some brush markers, some permanent markers, and some fine liner markers. I am so proud of this box and I love it so much. On the right side of my painted box, I have this painted seashell rock that I love so much, and it's super cute. On the right side of the cherry blossom painting, I have this In the Stars perfume that smells super amazing. On the front right corner of my desk, I have this sign that says new YouTube video every other Monday at 5.30 p.m. Central Time, which is when I post my YouTube videos. Not exactly 5.30, but pretty much. Behind that sign, we have my lava lamp. I was supposed to post a video on this a while ago, but that didn't turn out. So here's the video on why that didn't turn out. But it's really pretty and I really love to have it on my bookshelf. And on the first shelf of my bookshelf, we have my purple Polaroid camera in its purple case. I love to take photos with this with my family and friends to keep them preserved forever. Behind my purple Polaroid camera, we have all this art stuff and leaning up against it, we have this roll of decorative colored paper that I use to decorate things. This package of 20 artist tiles a 10 paged mini sketchbook of black paper, this Bristol smooth surface 10 paged sketchbook, a black accordion style notebook, another mini sketchbook, a purple covered marker sketch pad, this really wide layout pad, my reckless journal, and if you guys wanna see me do a page in my reckless journal, drop a like on the video, please. 
a two pack of these really tall and skinny Artist Loft canvases. An Artist Loft paint kit with two medium sized canvases and it includes paintbrushes and paints. This little boulder thing of five mixed media sheets. This huge watercolor sketchbook. A five star purple and black binder. Just uh, let me struggle to unzip it. And ugh, that zipper took forever. Anyway, it holds all of my design ideas, clothing, fashion, and interior design. And on the other side of the shelf, we have this big bucket full of a bunch of different colors of yarn. And I knit with normal needles, with two needles. I also like to spool knit with this red spool where you just wrap it around and then loop it. This is also something I normal knitted once. So yeah, I like knitting, maybe it's weird, I don't care. On the middle shelf of my bookshelf, we have this big, huge pencil box full of a bunch of little pipsqueak markers. Some ASMR here for you to enjoy. Ugh. Underneath that, we have this big, huge bucket full of all of my painting things that I could ever fit in there. I'm not digging through it, but it has paint brushes, paint palettes, paints, canvases, a bunch of mini watercolor things. So many paint things in there. In the middle of the middle shelf, we have these paper origami butterflies that I folded myself. Bye-bye, little butterflies. Moving on to this picture frame with a dancer on the side. I was gonna put one of my dance pictures in there, but I never did. Now we have these things for my Polaroid camera, like extra film and the strap for the case. On the bottom shelf of my bookshelf, I have this light up tracing pad. It lights up so I can trace papers underneath each other and it has a little clip to hold the papers down. Beside that, in this little purple organizer box thing, we have my open roll of packing tape, all the material lists, and little cards that come in all of my sketch box packages, an open roll of pink duct tape, and two unopened rolls of clear packing tape for my Curate This Book 2 and preserving all my artwork stuff. And enjoy me struggling trying to put my sketch box things back in this box. In front of my bookshelf on the floor, we have these cool art kits. The first one is a klutz string art kit. The second one is a paint your own mandala stones kit. The third one is a made by me mix and mold stepping stones kit. The fourth one is a one, two, three knit spice box. And, um, I can't seem to open boxes very well today. And finally, a spool knitting animals kit. I haven't used any of the things in these kits. I should, but I haven't yet, so maybe that will be in a future video. On the wall above my bookshelf, I have this cute white dog in a purple and white flower field. It says, I'm exactly the way I like me on it, and I think it's really inspirational, and I love the pop of color it gives to my room. The first item on my desk is this pink and blue tie-dye Squishmallow bunny that I got for Easter. I love how fuzzy everything is. It's super squishy and so darn cute. Behind my pink and blue tie-dye Squishmallow Bunny, we have this LED letter board that still says March. It's the end of April. Jane, what are you doing? Anyway, it says what days and times I have dance. Note to self, fix March to April. Here we have my beautiful Chromebook case where I keep my HP Chromebook and its charger in the front pocket. 
I use this to do a bunch of schoolwork and sometimes stuff for YouTube too. And here is my Chromebook. It is just black and gray, really, really simple matte. I really love it. My background is a dancer in arabesque on the beach in point shoes. It is really pretty. I love it so much. Moving on to the drawers of my desk. In the first drawer, we have all of my blue pens with sentimental erasers, all my black things, including pens and markers, all of my pencils, and all of my random highlighters and multicolored pens and stuff like that. In this crevice, we have my rulers and edge drawing things. They fit perfectly in there, and I love to keep them in there because then they're kind of tucked away and not in the way. And then we have my clear roll of tape that I use to tape things, obviously. And then all of my erasers, my pencil sharpening box that I keep all my pencil shavings in along with a little pencil sharpener and a little storage thing of paper clips, things like that, random things, stamps. And then under there, there's a bunch of stickers and a wooden dowel for scratch art. Over here, I have my tube of white glue and then I have my stick of glue, which is purple. And then I have these sticky notes that I use to take little random notes on. And then my scissors. Very interesting drawer, I know. In the middle drawer of my desk, this is where I keep all of my little books and sketch pad things. First, I have my Create This Book 2. Next, I have this little mini sketchbook that I have a few sketches in. My Create This Book that I have not done anything in yet. This mini little sketchbook with, again, a few sketches in it. My selfie stick that I was using before this and just put it back in the drawer so I could show you guys it. I use it to set up for all of my YouTube filming. My boogie board in its little case with its pen and the boogie board. This purple squishy covered notebook that my dance teacher got me. This super duper fuzzy panda notebook that has a lock on it. I don't feel like unlocking it, but it is so, so fluffy. This little Halloween monster thing with a little panda fly in it that I made. This mini notepad clipboard thing. And this notebook thing that looks like Lego. I love popping it and playing with it. And this pencil case that I got from Sketchbox that I don't have anything in at the moment. And finally, this notebook that I got at school that I don't really use much, but it's really pretty. In the bottom drawer of my desk, we have a lot of stuff in here, actually. Uh, first, we have a folder full of loose leaf to start, then notebooks with loose leaf in them. Then we have a folder full of white paper and white paper sketchbooks and stuff beside it folder with coloring pages in it and coloring books on the other side of that. Things that are a work in progress that I'm not quite done yet and want to finish soon. Extra paper to put under things when I use Sharpies or markers like that. A folder with things that I want to keep or things that I want to hang on my wall one day. And a folder with decorating things like stencils for markers and paints. A pencil case that has all the things that I take with me when I travel. I just throw this in my bag and I don't have to worry about packing any other coloring supplies. And these scratch art booklets now. One is a ballet scratch art booklet and one is a doodle mania booklet. They come with their own dowels and they're really easy to take places. Then we have my extreme dot to dot books. I have two of them. There's a lot of dots in them. There's like a thousand dots on each page. And then I have a little mazes book in there too. Behind there, we have a bunch of crafty stuff and extra file folders, just because I want to keep that stuff out of the way and I don't want it anywhere else. It stays back there. And then we have this very cool flippy sequin pencil case. Everybody loves a flippy sequin pencil case. And more pencil cases inside a pencil case. Wow, that's all for the bottom drawer. We are back on top of my desk in these little bins. Here, the first one is full of pencil crayons and these little tins of pencil crayons. I love to keep all of these on my desk so then I can just access them anytime I want. 
The second bin is a pretty lilac purple white polka dotted one with all of my permanent markers inside it. We have thick normal Sharpies, Paper Mate Flare fine liner ones, and fine tip Sharpies in there. In the middle of my desk, I have this desk lamp that lights up my surface and it's kind of fun to play with too. On the base of the lamp, we have this little fairy dust container that's very aesthetic looking. These little papers for citron and amethyst that explain what the citron and amethyst rocks are beside them and what they do. This purple one is amethyst and the yellowish clear one is citron. On the top of the lamp, we have this unicorn fingerling bracelet thing that I like to keep hooked up there. I don't really know what they are. And then I have this random lock that I don't use, so I decided to put it up there for some odd reason. But yeah, there's the lamp. On the other side of the lamp, we have this square bucket full of all of my writing things. There's some calligraphy ink in there, and then there's some calligraphy ink down here. This one is yellow. I don't use them very much, but I like to keep them anyway. And there's a few pens and pencils and shading things and brushes for the ink. And there's a lot of stuff in there that I don't really use. The last bucket is full of my crayons and oil pastels. They're in this bag or else they would just like fall out, yeah. Anyway, there's my giant collection of crayons too. And these oil pastels in a bag. This one is kind of boring. The last thing on top of my desk is this light up mosaic ball thing it also has a bluetooth speaker i got it for christmas this year it's really pretty i don't really use it as a bluetooth speaker but it looks really cool on my desk when it's lit up and yeah it's really pretty on the wall above my desk i have this beautiful fan art that anna omen made for me i will link all her stuff down in the description and then i have this led light strip which is new and this black dance like no one is watching poster thing then I have all of these pictures from my Polaroid camera that are of my family and friends and places I like to go. It's new, it hasn't always been there, but I hope you guys like it because I really love how it looks. Here's the stool I sit on, I hope you really like it. It's an ugly color, I don't really like it, but the chair that I used to have was really big and clunky and I didn't really like it. Oh, I'm gonna pull the string on the bottom, yep, that's a really good idea. I think it's really ugly, but under my desk is very interesting. There's this vent cover that makes the furnace vent blow out and not up. Then there's this mess of wires that is really annoying. And it goes up to my lava lamp and my lamp and my Chromebook charger and all the necessary things in there. It's, yeah, I don't really like it, but oh, here's me struggling to get under here. So under here, there's this stuff that I don't really want to keep and I don't like it uh, it just yeah it just goes there because I don't want to see it and I need to keep it but I don't use it like ever at all and it's really annoying to have there because then sometimes you can see it and sometimes you can't but yeah that's the under part of my desk on the other side of my desk leg we have this fashion plates kit that is very very big and it's like a thing that you like trace on and make people then we have this spirograph kit. You probably know what a spirograph is, but I use that quite often to make cool designs. And in here we have a bunch of paint stuff and art stuff that I don't feel like opening right now. Just let me struggle under my bed to get out these two kits. The first one is a purple suitcase looking thing that has a bunch of very cheap art supplies in it. I don't use this very often, but I still keep it because I might need to use it someday. And then there's this design your own pillowcase thing that I have not done yet. It might be in a future video and I keep that stuff there because it doesn't fit with my other stuff. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed. Comment down below what you think the coolest thing that I toured you today was. Don't forget to drop a like on this video if you want to see me do room tour part two with all of my dance stuff. Subscribe to me and turn on post notifications. Thanks for watching. See ya! Thank you.